When I got here, I dominated. People thought I worked 100 hours a day. Now, no matter what time I show up, people don't question my ability to get the job done. Get it through your head. First impressions matter. Gentlemen, in today's video, how to dress like Harvey Specter. Harvey Specter, you guys have been asking me to do a video on his style, how he dresses, how he dominates a room for a long time. So here it is guys, starting this off, the first thing, suits. Now that's the name of the show, but Harvey Specter has a lot of them and he wears them. That's the key, is some of you guys have great looking suits in your wardrobe and what, what happens to those suits? They gather dust, they get eaten by moths. You don't actually wear them. If you want to show up, if you want to dominate a room, you've got to actually wear the clothing. Every time we see this character, he is bringing his A-game. And in fact, whenever his, he doesn't have a dimple in his tie, what happens? All of a sudden, other characters pick up, something must be wrong. He has set the standard so high. Now, let's talk specifically about his suits. So, what do we notice? First off, the fit. I've talked about how fit is king, Harvey Specter nails it from the shoulder points to the fit in the chest, to the length of the jacket, to the fit of his trousers. He has a well-built body and he shows it off by wearing clothing that works for him. Now, the style is going to be more British style where we're going to see padding in the shoulders. We're going to see padding in the chest. It really just gives him that masculine V. He looks very strong. He looks like someone you don't want to mess with and you don't want to mess with Harvey. And he sends this signal when he walks into a room and people don't even know him simply by the way he is wearing the suit. Now, let's talk about the colors. So, we see dark grays. We see overall just dark colors in general. What is that? Why go with darker colors? Because they're perceived as more formal, stronger, more dominant. He keeps everything very business, everything very dark, but notice the lapels. He goes for peak lapels. I've got a notch lapel right here, very common. Peak lapels are going to be less common and where we see peak lapels traditionally on black tie double-breasted suits, but he brings them into single-breasted suits. It makes it just a little bit more formal, helps him stand out from the crowd and continues to build up his chest area and his shoulders. Other things we notice about his jackets, he doesn't really have a whole lot of ticket pockets. He doesn't go for that flashy look. Instead, he goes for the double vent on the back, which is more of the British style, but he's got little details like the stitching on the buttons, which to me saying, you know, this isn't, it was probably made by a custom tailor or definitely from a higher end place, but he pays attention to those small details. Now, when we look, he's usually got four buttons right here on the sleeves. Again, most of his jackets, single-breasted, two buttons. I haven't really seen any three buttons. He will occasionally bring in a vest. So, what we see is a three button suit. Now, when we get down to his trousers, he's going for flat front trousers. So, no pleats on those. Now, at his, when we get down to the cuffs, he has no cuffs, but overall, we've got a slim cut. Again, this works for his build. He's got a very toned body. He's got, you know, just in great shape and he shows it off and he lets basically this send the signal when he walks in the room that he is going to dominate. Pop quiz for you suit fans. Okay, what's the most expensive item that Harvey has ever worn on set? What do you think? Some of the suits, some of the shoes? The answer is actually a wristwatch that he wore in season one. It was a Patek Philippe 504P Platinum Perpetual Calendar Split Second Chronograph Watch. Guys, this sells used for $270,000 or I guess you could buy it brand new for $350,000. Yes, he wears a very expensive watch. Now, they did an interview and come to find out he thinks it was actually a fake. It was with the prop department. Now, I'm not going to recommend that you wear a fake watch. I would rather you buy a watch that you're going to love that you're going to enjoy and guys, guess what? Vincero, the paid sponsor of today's video. I want you to go check out their watches. Why do I love them? Why am I bringing them up now? Because guys, these watches look amazing and for the price, you are getting a great watch. These look like thousand dollar watches. You're going to find you pay a fraction of that for over two years. I've been working with this company. They're a great company. You guys write me back. I've had, I have met people in person who have told me, Antonio, I grabbed one of those watches and I love it. It's just such a nice, just a nice looking watch. I would love for you and I would love to have a $10,000, a $20,000, a $350,000 watch. But I know a lot of you up and coming, Harvey Specters, you can't maybe afford that, but you want a watch that still looks great, that looks amazing. One that actually keeps great time, has a lot of cool features and that's what Vincero has. So, guys, go check them out. I'm going to link to them down in the description. There's a great discount code, a good company I've been with for a long time. All right, guys, so let's have a little bit of fun. So, they sent me some extra watches 
as always, and I want to send them your way. But to get a watch, what you have to do is go down and check out their website. Let me know the exact details on the watch and with what Harvey Specter outfit you're going to wear it with. Be, be descriptive. Tell me in exacting detail because I want to send some watches your way. Again, guys, the link down in the description. Use that discount code. If you see something you really want, I can tell you I love this new metal band watch. Really easy to change it out. Uh, this one with the, the black leather, the black face, just beautiful. Go check them out, guys. Great company. Next up, Harvey Specter's shirts. So, what do we notice about his shirts? That they're almost always white. Nothing wrong with white, guys. It is a blank canvas which everything else can build off of. You've got enough complexity in your life. What I would recommend, if you wear suits quite a bit or you want to start wearing them, just start off with five to ten white shirts. Now, you can change them up. I'm not saying you got to get the exact same white shirt. You can go with different collar styles. In fact, when we see Harvey Specter, he has a few different collar styles. Now, with his cuffs, what do we notice? That he has barrel cuffs most of the time, but he also likes French cuffs and he's going to bring in small metal cufflinks. Nothing really fancy, but something that definitely sends the signal. This guy, no, he is the man. Now, you can change up, go with a wide variety of cuffs with those ten shirts as I was talking about. You can change out some of the colors. Such an easy way to quickly build up a very formal but very sharp looking wardrobe. So, when I was talking about shirt collars, I was talking about that spread collar. Why go for a spread? Because it allows you to put in a large necktie knot. Harvey loves the full Windsor. Now, I've only got a half Windsor here because, hey, it suits my body type and I didn't want to go overboard here, but a half Windsor, a full Windsor, a large knot with the right necktie. Now, what do you notice about Harvey's neckties? They are always silk. He doesn't go for any of that wool or any of that knitted stuff. He doesn't want no casual ties. This guy is going straight silk. And we're not talking imitation silk here. Go for the real thing. Look for a seven-fold necktie. Look for something that is going to be of higher quality. If you can't afford that level at this point, well, then just go with the best that you can find. But at the end of the day, silk is going to be the most formal. Now, he usually goes for solid colors. We're seeing a dark purple, the color of kings. We're going to see dark navies. We're going to see blacks. So, you can go for these darker colors. What you want to avoid is something that's going to be silk but way too casual. Those are going to be lighter color ties. Those are going to be ones with really bright colors with larger patterns. Those are going to be much more casual. Now, let's talk about Harvey Specter's shoes. So, this is where I feel the costume design department kind of fell down. They know that most of the time the shoes are not even going to be seen. So, whenever we do see the shoes, they're going to be oftentimes in pictures. What do we see? He just goes for a basic black cap toe Oxford. Hey, it works when well shined. It's classic. Works with everything. I do find that Harvey gears towards black. He also brings in some dark brown. I would love to see him in ox blood. Now, when he's bringing in the brown, we see oftentimes a brogue. He doesn't really get super crazy with his shoes and this is an area where I think you could outshine Harvey Specter. You can have fun with your shoes. You can go with a two-tone. Maybe go for a double monk strap. Maybe go for a hole cut that's got a little bit of a medallion right there on the toe. Have fun with your footwear, guys. Next up, let's talk about Harvey Specter's hair. So, there was an early interview that Gabriel Mock did talking about how, okay, they took some cues from Gregory Peck, from Cary Grant, but they wanted to modernize it. They wanted to change things up. Now, that was early in season one. What we saw happen in season two, season three is that his hair started to evolve. His hair, it became more vertical, but it still had a strict and structured feel to it. We see a tight side part on the left-hand side with a subtle pompadour in the front. To get this look, you need the sides to be cut short, not buzzed, just cut short with some length on the top. Now, to keep it in place, you want to run through it a stronghold gel or a pomade. Something that basically is just going to keep that longer hair in place. If necessary, use the right brush, maybe use a blow dryer, but at the end of the day, what you're looking for is a bit of volume there on top. Something that isn't going to get too long, something that's not too short, something that gives a modern business look. And let's not forget the pocket square. So, Harvey Specter wears a simple presidential fold with a white linen or cotton pocket square. We'll occasionally see gray as well, but he's not going to bring in a big paisley or something that has, you know, just bright colors and stuff it in there and have it going all over the place. That would be distracting. Harvey Specter knows that he wants to keep it very simple to the point and keep it all about business. All right, so those are some great tips on how to dress like Harvey Specter, but understand they mean nothing if you are not the type of man that can actually pull off this look. Who is that type of man? Well, you need to be a man of integrity. You need to be a man of your word. You need to be a man who every day is working harder to become the best him that is looking around to raise and to help lift up others. That's what I like 
about Harvey Specter. He's actually a good character. Yes, he may come off as arrogant, as brash, as someone that's egotistical. Yes, I get that. But when it comes down to it, he's actually a good person who actually has strong feelings and protects and takes care of those around him. I think that men, at the end of the day, we need more leaders like that. They're a good person trying to improve, you know, just the world in general. So, guys, uh, hopefully you took some great things from today's video. If you want more, go check out the support article. I'm going to link to it down in the description. In addition, I'm going to link over to Vincera, the great paid sponsor of today's video. Guys, I love these watches for over two years. Again, I've worked with this company. I've got some extras. So, go check out that website. Use the link down below. Let me know which styles and how you would match them with your Harvey Specter outfit. And let me know. I want to hear, like, what are you going to change up the tie? You may be going to go for a little bit more fun on the pocket square. Uh, just, I want to hear from you guys. I love hearing your different looks and uh, I'll be down there in the comments interacting. That's it, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.